Hello everybody, my name is Bob and we're playing Factorio. Um, now what is Factorio if you don't know are not familiar with the game? Uh, it's a really cool game. Uh, it's got a little bit of SimCity if you take away the people. Uh, it's a bit like Command and Conquer too and, and you do have enemies. Uh, the bugs uh, try to get you. They don't like your pollution and they try to kill you. Um, and um, it's, it's uh, sort of also really its own thing. Um, so what I'll do is I will show you a um, uh, a um, a uh, a game I'm playing now, uh, and then we'll start a new one. Um, I should warn you that uh, I'm have a little bit, little bit of I've been having a little bit of an insomnia problem, uh, so I'm a little bit groggy. Uh, so you may hear hear me blank out there from time to time. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and load load that up. Uh, if you've never played this before, and maybe even if you have, um, what you're going to see is going to be a little chaotic, but it all makes sense. Uh, so here's my, uh, it's uh, basically my industrial infrastructure. Uh, the, um, the general idea here is that I have crash landed on this planet uh, and um, uh, full of unpleasant life forms. Uh, and um, uh, I am trying to um, get a uh, robotic infrastructure going so that I can build a spaceship and get the hell off this place. Uh, so that's sort of basically the premise. Now let me let me check on my science right quick. Science is actually something that, something that you produce, uh, so uh, uh, you have to have actual machines to produce that for you. Okay, um, uh, on the most basic level, what we have here are resources. For instance, this tree right here, I can chop it down. That's a resource. That's raw wood. Uh, over here is coal. Coal, uh, especially in the beginning, is uh, crucial to your uh, to all powering all your machines. Um, that's actually oil right there. These are conveyor belts. This is iron. That's also critical. And over yonder is copper, right here. Right now it's nighttime, so that's why it's so dark. And then later on you get into needing other things like, uh, well you also need water, that's a resource, although you can't gather it yourself. Uh, but um, that's an important resource too for your power plants and also for um, uh, other like chemical factories and stuff. So here's um, uh, a, um, a what they call it, called refinery, and then different uh, different uh, plants run off of that to produce stuff like batteries. <coughs> okay, and in the, the current uh, <coughs> current. Um, um, form you see it now, if you've never played it before, uh, it's going to be very chaotic uh, and you're not going to understand what's going on. Uh, so what we'll do is we will start a new game. Uh, so you can see how it, how it uh, all happens from the, the ground up. Uh, all this over here is uh, actually factories for producing science. Those little bottles, those little green and red vials are science. Uh, so we'll start a new game and uh, you can see sort of how things work from the ground up. Okay, we're going to go to play, uh, going to go to um, uh, new game. Uh, all these things you can just sort of leave where they are pretty much, but um, one thing that you may want to consider is a starting area, uh, moving that to very big. That's so that if you, when you're first starting out, uh, that uh, the, uh, the bugs are not uh, right next to you, and um, uh, so you get a little more of a, more of a grace period before you uh, get attacked by them. 
though you will get attacked by them eventually, and the more pollution you create, the the stronger and more mutated they are. So uh, let's go ahead and generate. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Now let's see what my resources are. Okay, over there we got some copper. It's actually kind of looking like a fairly uh, lame starting spot. Uh, I don't see any coal. There's some coal over here. Okay. Okay, so there's some coal over here. There's some metal over there. There's some copper over there. Okay, that'll work. Okay, first thing you're probably going to have to do is clear off some trees. And that gets you wood, which can be useful for things, such things as telephone bowls. Also, your tools at first are going to really suck. So, you're pretty much just beating this with your fist. Okay. Oh, also stone. Do I have any stone around? Oh, there's some stone down there. Okay. Okay, so um, uh, <coughs> we'll also get some of this. So you can also just get the uh, get the um, uh, coal by just beating on it like that. Um, it is very slow without any kind of tools. So let me see if I can um, uh, go ahead and just make a uh, a miner iron plate. I need a stone furnace. Let's go ahead and hop on over here, grab some stone. <coughs> so basically what you're going to want to do is try to get your uh, your iron smelting uh, up and rolling as quickly as you can. Because you can't do a hell of a lot starting out without iron plates. So you definitely need them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get about six of these uh, rocks. Uh, and while we're doing everything by hand here, uh, that is not the uh, way of the future. We're going to automate all this stuff. Uh, I tend to um, make, uh, some people tend to make very neat uh, structures. I tend to kind of do spaghetti code type structures. Uh, but um, um, one thing about what I do do is I tend to make it as much uh, automated as possible, so I don't have to go around and like put uh, resources in little boxes or anything. You know, once we get once I get going, uh, so uh, that's one thing I do. Okay, let me see if it'll let me uh, make a. Uh, what am I missing? Iron plate. I've got eight iron plate. Oh, iron gear wheel. Okay, I got one. I got one uh, smelter in my inventory already. I'm going to put that there. Go ahead and make a... I need five stone for that. Okay. Uh, and again, this sort of um, starts off very uh, slowly because you have no tools and you have no machines and you're just out here... just out here doing your stuff with your bare hands. You're smashing those rocks with your fists. Okay, so now I've got a um, uh, stone furnace. Uh, I have ranged... Um, I'll show you this right quick. See that little arrow? That's where the the uh, coal is going to be outputted to. So we just put that right there, and I'll just automatically put the coal there. And i got to put some coal in here to start off with. Uh, and I don't have any coal. Okay. <coughs> uh, one thing I'm, uh, I forgot to do is you can, you can go probably go ahead and... <clears throat> just make an iron axe straight up straight away because that's going to make things in, in, immensely more uh, more easy uh, for you than than beating up the coal out of the out of the earth with your with your fists. So probably one of the first things you need to do is go ahead and make an axe. Okay, now that I got some coal, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll use right click to sh to split this stack, put some of the coal in there, and put some of the coal in here. Oh nope, the coal's already in there. Okay. 
Uh, let's see if it'll let me uh, make a... Um... Nope. I'm going to need to get some metal. Uh, let's wander over here to where the metal is. Where'd that metal at? And you can sort of chop stuff down as you need to. Okay, just order to recap. This is a, a, um, a coal-fired mining machine, so that's what is mining this coal. Uh, later on, I'll replace it with an electric mining machine, which is much better. Uh, but that's what I have right now. Uh, and this is a smelter, which is turning the, that uh, iron ore that I just got into iron plate. Also, your axes are good and stuff are going to run out after a while. You're going to you're going to wear them out, uh, so you may have to rebuild another one. Just make sure you got plenty of iron plate and you're in good shape. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put another one of these uh, coal burning uh, mining machines behind here. Uh, that way, it'll automatically feed itself. Otherwise, it will this will run out of uh, coal eventually. You get a little coal to get it started. Okay, so now, now this should run without me needing to refill it with uh, coal. But I've still got a problem with uh, having to go over here all the time and get uh, iron. Uh, so as soon as we can, we're going to automate that process as well. As well. Okay, to spare me having to um, uh, mine all this iron by hand, I'm going to go ahead and um, put that there. I will need more coal to... Um, uh, to get that started, I will eventually have a, a coal conveyor belt going that direction. Okay, now I've got a load of coal. I'll go ahead and stick that in there. Okay, now it's going to um, I want to spit that out there, and it's got really nothing for it to uh, to go to. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, create a few conveyor belts. Uh, we're not going to be able to, to create the whole conveyor system uh, we can get started on it at least all right that's how to, that's all we got for conveyors uh, let's go ahead and pick up this, uh, this surplus metal uh, and then um, get that over here. We're going to need to start making um, uh, a, a separate coal mining system just to send coal over there. Okay, right, right now I'm still doing a lot of running around because um, I still got to pick up stuff from one location and uh, deposit it at the other. Uh, very soon that's going to be uh, automated and sort of more and more automated as time goes on. So that in fact I will have to really do nothing but uh, sort of sit back and um, just plan strategically what my next structures are going to be. Okay, in order to, uh, I've got uh, right now this um, iron ore coming towards the uh, iron smelter here. I've got to have a way to put it in the uh, smelter. Uh, that's uh, going to require an inserter. Right now, all, all I've got is the burner inserter. Later on, I'll have a proper inserter. Uh, right now, all I've got is a burner inserter, which burns coal. So you have to keep it replenished. Okay, is that working correctly? I guess we'll find out. <coughs> and the next thing is I've got to move this coal line to where it can automatically feed the uh, miner. So I don't have to keep on uh, carrying the coal over there. Okay, here you can use, see the um, burner inserter using uh, operating as intended, loading the iron ore into the smelter, and then um, I'll pick up the uh, iron plate so I can make some more conveyor belt to connect up this with the, um, the smelter. I'm also going to put in a, a, a separate, a second um, uh, iron miner uh, so I can get my iron plate production up. Okay, right now there's no way I can split an existing line in half uh, so as to make things more efficient. I have to use a much conveyor belt. So I have to have 
two separate lines for two separate mining things if I'm going to have a send them to two, two separate smelters. Uh, later on, I'll get a splitter that'll allow you, allow you to um, divide that in half. Okay, now we've got a second line of uh, iron ore coming in here, and I'm going to need another one of these burner inserters here to put the iron into the uh, smelter. And unfortunately, with these burner inserters, uh, you have to keep them refueled. I'll, I'll have electric inserters later on that won't have to. Don't have to worry about that. So, we'll grab that there. Grab that there. Okay, yeah, these um, miners have to have some place to output to. And that can be a conveyor belt or it can be a um, box, a chest. So you see how now it's not not doing anything; it's just sitting there. I got to put a chest in front of it, and then it will start. To, uh, putting the um, the stone here into this chest, and then you go go pick it out later, or you can put it onto a conveyor belt, and, you know, whatever you needed to do with that. But um, you have to have some place for it to output to. Okay, as you can see here, I've got these uh, miners uh, set up to where they're going to feed themselves coal. Uh, so um, uh, the, it just goes along, and uh, but I still have to, to feed the burner inserters here because they uh, don't necessarily feed themselves. Uh, but otherwise, it's fairly automatic at this point. Probably going to need some more, um, some more uh, metal production. Okay, another uh, resource that's going to be important for me to have is copper. Uh, so uh, I don't have a splitter yet. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a couple um, burner inserters. these bad boys over here start a new line heading towards the um, uh, copper Oop. And you just kind of run with it here we go just kind of run with it and this will be delivered to deliver coal to the um, to the um, miners over here actually miners and smelters because uh, you have to smelt copper, uh, it, copper ore into um, copper plate. And we'll get a miner down right here. You got to leave room for the uh, inserter. And then we need another smelter. And put that right there with the output of the uh, miner. And create another inserter. Oh, did I? Yeah, I put that right. Yep. Okay, and then that's, now that's cooking. Now I'm going to need to have an output for that. Uh, if you see the, this thing, the, the arrow is pointing in the direction that the resource is going. The flat thing is pointing towards where the resource comes from. So, and I need to get a chest. I'm not going to worry about making a conveyor for this right now. So, let's take a chest here. And there you go. And that needs coal. Alright, now i got copper gone. Okay, next thing I'm going to desperately need is a uh, steam uh, turbine to do gen generate electricity. Because right now I've got no electricity at all. So let's go ahead and... Uh, create a uh, water uh, offshore pump so we can um, get some water into the boilers uh, and I like to use these underground pipes uh, uh, because otherwise you, when you create these uh, power plants you'll just create a monolithic block that you can't get through easily um, make another one make another couple of them okay uh, so this way this this leaves gaps uh, which you can walk through 
Okay, we needed to get two more boilers. This is to heat the water to um uh, to uh, get it to I don't have any coal. Do I don't have any appreciable coal? Uh, doesn't matter right now. Um, this to heat the water to um, drive the um, the turbines. I'm gonna need to have steam engines now. Uh, three of them. And it seems like three boilers to three steam steam engines works pretty well. So we'll we'll use that. Boom. Boom. And boom. Okay. And now I'm gonna need to have some coal head in that direction. So we'll create a um, inserter. Might as well use an electric one now, huh? Which has no power at the moment. Then uh, get um, we'll go ahead and use a coal burning inserter because it will feed itself. I think. Uh, oh, screw it! We're right next to the power plant. Let's use an electric uh, inserter, and that will insert the coal. And I got to get some coal to get it started too. Let's go ahead and create some uh, uh, some electric poles. I need to get some coal to um, to get everything started here. Okay, and we'll stick some coal in the boilers. And then thereafter it should feed itself. We've got power. Okay, last thing we're going to do in this um, uh, playthrough is um, we're going to um, uh, create a science lab, which is what you need in order to get any kind of progress in your in your uh, in the things you have available to you. So we'll go ahead and create that. Now, the thing with creating uh, the science, the little bottles uh, I showed you before, um, little. Uh, red and green bottles is um, they're extremely tedious to create by hand however you can make machines that will do them for you and then you just you know all you have to do is uh, sit back and, and enjoy the uh, the scientific progress yes and we'll just go ahead and put uh, our first uh, our first science over here Okay. Then yeah, I need that. 
Also need splitters though. We'll go ahead and research that. We need splitters pretty bad. And we need to have power poles going up here. Yep. Okay, and then I'm going to have to to tediously by hand create the science for this until I get to the point where I can build machines to make the science for me. I'm going to make three of those and three of those, and you can see it. It it, it the, the the actual making of the science is very slow, but if you make machines to make it, it um uh, it comes along very nicely. I don't think I need any green science right now. And so and then you put that little bottles in there and suddenly you're doing science! Science! And, and also, uh, when you first start out, it's a good idea to kind of check things out and see how your resources are distributed. Because, right, if I had, had it to do over again, I would not uh, actually accept the starting condition because look at, look at my coal. Everything right now is running off coal. This is, this is the only area of coal in the whole, the whole area that I've explored, so... That's not too good. You need, you need a spot that has lots of coal. Uh, so if I had to do it over again, I would, I would have restarted it from the beginning. Uh, but um, anyway, that's all for right now. Uh, and this is um, uh, Factorio. It's a pretty damn cool game. I really like it. I've been playing it a lot. Um, and uh, until next time, hasta la vista. Adios!